Jolly RVer. Um, I'm gonna do a quick uh, unboxing video. My wife and I uh, recently purchased this solid stance. It's uh, it's a Lippert product that came out. Um, my wife and I have a, a, a twenty a, a Grand Design Imagine 2800 bunkhouse, and um, we have a 2020 model, which is still a newer model, but it doesn't come with the new solid steps. We had a 2400 uh, rear living, 2450 rear living. Uh, imagine and it had a solid step with it and we absolutely loved it uh, but the trailer was a little bit too small for us with the addition of a one-year-old little boy that came into our life last April and you know one of the things that we really missed um, was the solid step but I didn't really want to spend that kind of money on just a step uh, you know it's it, the dogs don't like the fold away aluminum steps that much and it does create a little bit of bounce but at the end of the day it's not really that big of a deal um you know and i saw this the lippert product advertised it's i think i paid about 50 bucks for it something like that right off the top of my head it wasn't a, a lot of money but it attaches to the bottom of the step if you guys have not seen them uh just hit it you know look youtube i'll i'll put a video up but uh, this attaches to the bottom of your fold-out stairs, or your tuck-away fold-away stairs, um, and it's supposed to provide a little more stability. You know, a uh, week or so ago, I put the JT Strong Arms on my stabilizer jacks. Haven't had a chance to use those yet uh, to kind of eliminate some of the, the sway. We've used x chocks in the past, and, and they're, they do a, a good job, but there's still a little bit of bounce. My wife's a light sleeper. And with the one-year-old little boy who goes to bed, you know, relatively early in and out of the trailer, after he goes to bed, any you know type of that little bounce and sway is liable to, to rouse him up and wake us all up, and you know that's never a good thing. So I decided to give this a try. It's you know it's worth the expense. If it's not you know terrific, no big deal. It's not that huge of an expense that we we're, we're out. Certainly, we prefer to have a solid step, but I'm not interested in dropping 350, 450 bucks on a set of stairs. I mean, at the end of the day, we're we're camping. You know, it's first world problems to have a little bit of a bounce. But if this eliminates a little bit, maybe our dogs will like it better and maybe a little more stable. Um, <clears throat> and I don't have to do the the work uh, and incur the expense of putting in a solid step, which I uh, would certainly love to have. Maybe we'll upgrade at some point in time, maybe not. But this may be a good interim fix for us. We're pretty excited about it. At least I am. My wife is indifferent in most of this gadgets that I, lo I love this gadget stuff. So I'm just giving this a shot to see if it's worth its salt. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do an update. Uh, I'll, I'll continue this video on uh, with an installation video here in a little bit. So I'm going to do an unboxing to see what's in it. Uh, you guys can take a look and see what uh, comes in the package. Uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, this is the unboxing of this. <clears throat> and it's, a, it's relatively lightweight. I'm used to things coming in the mail and you know from Lippert that are pretty heavy. <laughs> I know my, sal my uh, JT Strong Arms were were pretty hefty um so this this i mean it has a little bit of heft to it um it's packaged uh <laughs> i hope it hasn't been opened before it doesn't look like it has been but i'm going to find out right now so i'm going to crack open the box and see what we have in here Let's see if we've got all the parts the the jt strong arm that i purchased uh which was a real frustrating thing for me was I actually purchased it off of Amazon. I, I kind of knew better than to do that. I'm, you know, I've not had great success on complicated things that have come from Amazon. You know, people, I don't know, they just send them back and they, people in Amazon or the folks that send it back, people that purchase it, send it back, they just, <laughs> they don't always put the nuts and bolts in there. So I had that problem. So hopefully I won't have this problem. It, what should have taken me three or four hours to get everything done. It took me about six with my trips back and forth to Lowe's, but I got them on. So we'll see. I'm pretty handy, guys. Let me see what's in here. So here's opening the box up, and that's a good sign. Everything seems to be uh, at least in packages. Looks like we've got a, I, you know, the tutorial videos that I watched. It's four bolts, and um, 
some washers. Looks like there's some washers, uh, four bolts, looks like maybe Allen heads with the nylon lock washers with some, I think these are spacer washers that go on the bottom side of the step just to get it, um, you know, depending on how the bottom of your step is created. Ours is aluminum tread, so it's, I'm pretty sure there's a lip on the underside that's not just flat on the bottom, which may mean I need to use the washers to be able to have enough, um, I don't say resistance, but just enough space between the nut and the washer on the bottom side to make things seat itself really securely. But anyways, that looks good. That's a good sign. Doesn't look like that's been opened. The staples are still there, which is a good thing. Um, okay, this is part of the box. Some silica gel for you to eat later, I guess. <laughs> and the actual solid stance itself, it appears like that's it. The box is empty. It's packaged pretty well. Um, not really much really to it. I'll set that to the side. Take a look out. So, that out of the plastic container. I'll put that over there. And so, this is the solid step. So, apparently, um, these this mounts. So, if you're you know, your steps here up, out, you know, that way, these mount in this mounts up against the bottom, I think. Like this, so it bolts. There's four. There's four bolt holes. One, two, three, four here, and that would mount to the bottom side of the step with these these uh, spring arm. Um, I call them plungers, but I don't know. There's probably some technical term I'm not familiar with, but that's essentially it's it's like on a solid step. You it lengthens the step out. So I guess if you're going you know, for unlevel ground, you can adjust the length of the step. There are two pins here that you could pull out, looks like. Yep, with the uh, spring balls, and that would, I'm assuming, allow your step to be adjusted in height. Yep, there's that. And then this one over here, same thing. Punches in. <clears throat> and these, of course, your step would be here, you know, up into your trailer that way. And then you can adjust your feet based on the height. Yep, all right, like that, and then maybe that. Certainly feels pretty sturdy. I don't give to it, so I'm kind of excited to see how well that holds up to the rigors of camping. I'm gonna... That's it, there's not a whole lot in the package. It's four volts. It probably will take me, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna guess. I Whenever I say half an hour, <laughs> it probably means I'll be working for about three hours on this thing. Um, yeah, I always, I'm always overly optimistic, but it's a fairly straightforward product. Sorry, I'm having to kneel down here a little bit. Um, I don't have my tripod, my normal tripod, I think is actually in our trailer and I'm doing this from our kitchen at home today. So, but it's the day before Father's Day and this is really, this, I, I didn't even tell my wife I bought this. I said, I got the solid stance in, I was really excited about it. And she's, what are you talking about? And oh, it's this thing that goes on the, the stairs of the trailer and if you're anything like me um i love the gadgets and my wife she enjoys the gadgets but she doesn't even know she's enjoying them so i'm like oh it's this cool you know thing that goes in the bottom of the stairs to secure it up and she's you know my wife's extremely practical why don't we just use some blocks like, well you know we could do that but this is way cooler and i do like the color scheme i do you know it's kind of slick I, I don't know i like that it looks it doesn't match anything on the trailer, but I do I do like that yellow and black. It does look pretty cool, and it tucks away, so I'm assuming it'll just get it'll just get forgotten about eventually. Um, not when we use, we'll not forget to use it, but I'm assuming that it'll it'll uh, it'll just get tucked away and get dirty. I, I do see that in addition to the width, you can also increase the I suppose the angle. I don't know how you'd have to be pretty high up there. And you'd have to be way off the ground for that, but you can adjust it in a lot of different ways, and it's uh, pretty pretty well built piece of equipment. I like it. Um, Lippert makes Lippert makes good products. You know, I, my wife and I got into RVing, you know, two or three years ago. My my, my parents actually owned owned their business when I was a kid growing up, and we had a thirty six foot coachman, and I slept under the I slept under the table. Uh, as a kid growing up and you know never in a million years thought i'd be actually 
uh, camping, you know, on purpose. We, of course, we really didn't camp. It was fairgrounds and horse shows. My dad was a photographer. We traveled a lot. But, you know, these gadgets are fun for me. It kind of, you know, the camping part is great. I love it. But the other part of the journey for me is just figuring out all these tools and tricks and fun things, you know, we can tinker around with. Uh, you know, and I like doing that kind of stuff. So um, I'll continue this video with, with an installation and uh, I'll see you in a minute. So uh, now for the install portion of this. So um, we have the traditional, you know, fold away stairs. These are three steps, you know, you collapse up and then push in just like your normal steps that have been on RVs for decades. Um, the only downside with these that we have found, and it's really, this is again, just kind of a nice to have. It's not really a, a have to have, but you know, we installed the Lippert um, JT Strong Arms, which I really haven't had a chance to field test it yet. I did check it out in the front of my house, I brought the trailer and worked on it on the, on the weekend. Um, you know, and it seemed to really help a huge deal. But one of the things that, um, you know, we have maybe a small complaint, again, a nice to have, not a have to have, but certainly something that, you know, if you don't have JT Strong Arm, in addition to this, I think this probably would be a good solution just in and of itself along with maybe x chocks and your normal stabilization jack so i don't feel like you have to you know have all of these things and i do apologize for the wind noise if there is some but um when you step on these steps you know i'm about 230 pounds and, and i mean shamefully so but you've got that that give and i mean you know again we're camping so camping my wife calls it it's glamping i mean let's just be honest <laughs> camping is in my mind, in the woods, in a tent, you know, with a campfire, and you're stinking for three days. But my wife said I'm happy to go camping as long as there's, you know, a hot shower, running water, a toilet I can use that's mine, you know, a bed that's comfortable, um, air conditioning. Uh, she could do without the television. She's a big reader. But, you know, someplace comfortable to sit and get out of the bugs and all that stuff. So, you know, it's camping. It's the closest I'm going to get to it with my wife. Um, but anyway, so, you know, we're just trying to make things a little more comfortable, a little more home-like, a little more, you know, just, you know, there's, there's also practical reasons for why we're doing what we're doing. You know, again, we have a, a little boy, one year old at the time I'm making this video, and, you know, he's he's not a light sleeper, but he sleeps right there in the, in the bunk, and, um, you know, in and out this door, you know, at night when you want to sit out next to the campfire or, you know, go for a walk or take the dogs out or whatever, I mean, you know, any jostling, um, again, these, my, my jacks, my stabilization jacks are not down. The strong arms are not initiated. None of that stuff is, you know, is going on right now. Um, anything we can do to kind of make the, ta the trailer a little more stable, a little more enjoyable, you know, we're going to do. Um, and it's, it's not that expensive of an up upgrade. The strong arms were, you know, a little pricey, but well worth it you know if, if again my wife's a light sleeper and you know if somebody walks up and down here or, you know son um i have, I have a, another son that lives with us and you know he's 18 year old young man and you know if he turns over in one of the bunks i mean the whole trailer rocks even with the x chocks even with the stabilization jacks and again that's pre-jt long arm but anyway i digress and get down the pathway of, of, of stuff you just probably don't want to hear about we're just trying to make the trailer more comfortable it's not a very expensive upgrade. One note I will make is that it didn't come with any instructions. So I did, you know, watch a couple of YouTube videos. It's pretty straightforward. It's four bolts, um, you know, and it's it's a straightforward install. These, these bolts. So what I what I best I can tell this is a I think this was a five thirty second bit. Uh, well, I think this is a one eight one eight Allen head. Yep, one eight Allen head, and then a one eighth inch socket uh, to put these on and what they recommended was that as you install you measure the center of your your um, step here and mark it so I did that and it's right at 24 inches inside measurement to inside measurement so I put a mark right at one foot which is right here and then you measure the actual stabilization I believe this was 30 I measured this to here from here to here it says to measure the whole thing, but you can do the same. It just measure from here to here. I think this was uh, 13, yeah, right at, right at 13 inches. So I put this at six and a half inches and I put a little small mark on it. You can't see it, obviously it's black on black and I, I used a Sharpie. So just so you can line it up. 
and it suggests that you you know you put this um, on you know obviously on the bottom of the septic more forward the better but on these there are these ridges here thankfully the girth of this or the width of this fits down in here but if I installed it on this first even with the washers I'm assuming that's what those spacer washers are for um, when I, I just to try to test close it because it's gonna have to sit up right here if I try to close it those little knobs hit the front of that step right there so I think I'm gonna install it on the center piece the center gap here line that up essentially uh, right along that where my my, my, my mark is take these out I'll double check my measurement in just a second just so I can mark these holes and I'll hold this in place um, just gonna double check that I got it centered I'm doing this in real time here y'all so forgive me I thought about it but you know, I'm actually doing it. I guess now I, I'm in trouble seeing my own there it is I'm in trouble seeing my own mark so this is this is pretty well centered and then you come back, and I'm gonna push it as far forward as I can. Again, these knobs have to be, they're pointed back right now when you fold it down, these little spring knobs will be facing forward out that direction. So you know, that's pretty well centered up. Uh, if it's off a centimeter or you know, eighth of an inch, it's not gonna make that big of a difference, um, honestly. So just to double check, just to make sure. Make sure I'm right where I need to be. I'm good. So right about that mark, I'm gonna take my sharpie right here, and I'll mark these four holes like here. Yeah. Making sure I'm pressing up on this to keep the flush against the front of that step. Kind of sure it up a little bit. I don't want it to scoot at this point because I've already made two met marks. This one. I'll mark this one like that and make sure my other markers are still lined up. Pop that out just like so. Set my marker to the side. And I should be should be pretty real well ready to drill here. Now it did say to you know the instruction said to use a, a, a chalk to kind of hold it from closing on itself, but mine doesn't mine kind of closes at that angle and then it you know folds up like that. So, anyway, I'm assuming yours probably will too. So I'm gonna drill holes in this just like this. Probably should you start slow. It's aluminum, so it should bore through pretty quick. And I'm guessing just a smidge on these on the side. And I'm gonna test one. I may have to go with a little bit bigger bit, depending on the size of this nut, or the bolt rather, just to see if that fits through. It does not, so what I told you on the fit size is wrong, so I'm going to go up a size. It's always easier to go up than down, obviously. Uh, don't want to be the hole than what I have to have. So, this is a uh, 64 fit. Let's widen that hole just a smidge. And again, just take your time. Pretty handy guy again so it's not that much of a problem and that is still even a little bit too small I may or may not edit this out I'm just doing this in real time y'all so you can see about increasing the width just a smidge more this one is uh, 316 so I probably should have started there Hole, a little bit bigger. I'm actually at our storage facility now. So 3 16 is perfect. So 3 16 bit for this, for the bolts that, or the little bolts that came with mine. And I'll just, got it. Okay, so now I got my holes drilled there. And these nuts here, they do are, they, they actually do have their, the ones they sent me are Allen heads. So they're rounded nuts. I don't know if it'll focus or not. Hopefully it will. But they're small little nuts. And I've got an eight, eighth inch. I think that's eighth inch. Double checking real quick. Eric. What the 
heck is this? 99.9, it's 8 inch, I know what it is. I think it is, but that's just, it's just kind of what you need. So these feed through the back of these steps. Just like that, they feed right through that, just like that. And your, your mechanism, which I'm assuming is gonna have to have these, these washers. There's, there's, looks like there's three with each. So, get them in like that. They'll need to be put on when you put these nuts in because you're going to have to line up your the, the stance itself, solid stance with it. It's got a little small washer to go on the back side. Sorry, my back to y'all. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get this in there. That one like that. And then the last one. We're coming and going. It's really kind of cool. You know, I'm over here at the uh, our storage facility, and there's another gentleman across the way with the reflection, and we were chatting about his upgrades. He's putting on something similar to the JT strong arm for the exact same reasons that we're putting these on just to make it a little more uh, comfortable and enjoyable to be in again you know, movement in a really nice traveling hotel I mean that's a first world problem if I ever heard of one in my life but we have it might as well enjoy it so anyways so this is going to go to the back I need to I'm not sure if this is a go about this or not there's that one in there and that one in there enough clearance I'm gonna put these I'm just gonna dry fit these real quick I'm not gonna secure them down super tight I'm gonna make sure this sink closes first there we go. Right on just to hold it in place for now I'll, I'll crank it down here in a little bit just put it on hand tight right now just to just to see if it'll close right a little bit snug this may be a little challenging if you have any type of arthritis my, you know my dad's got real bad arthritis in his hands and there's no way he could do this of course he couldn't do it and the face looks like they stayed in place that's good hope you can hear me talking to myself you know I'm not I'm not I'm kind of new to this whole YouTube video thing and I was a little worried that you know people hear me or see me talking to, to myself or what appears to be to myself I'm gonna get judged and make fun of <laughs> so I get made fun of anyway you can ask my wife it's a semi-regular thing I mean for crying out loud about as cheesy as it gets anyways all right so these are all just hand tight right now close them down like that it's like that clears it all those washers clear it I'm put these in right here just to kind of see if it'll hold itself in place and i'm going to double check to make sure that the steps close before i tighten the bolts down Oh, 
feet have to be flat. And then, so like a glove. If I if I put those in the front, I mean, it clears it by like a, I mean, a frog hair of a distance. I mean, it's barely clearing it, but it's clearing it. I might have been able to gotten away with two washers as opposed to three, but it definitely works. It clears it. So now I can go in here with my uh, my ratchet. I did say I needed a, a longer one, so deep socket. So I have that. I'm hoping I can get away with it. I actually have an adapter for that, but this will work just as well. Let's see if I can crank this down a little. Get my Allen, Allen wrench in there. Crank down on it a little bit. There's that one. This install really is. It's not complicated at all. Um, I would consider that <coughs> fully installed now. Those close flat. And it covers over that just like that. The cables have to stay out of the way. It's not like you're opening the stairs a million times. Let's see if we have a winner in here. So that closes, that shuts up, and then we're done. Good to go. Now, let's see if I can I'll get down here on the ground. All right. And I'll set it up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, so before I do that, um, I'm gonna load, see how low the step is right now. I don't think you really get any benefit from looking at it. It's so low right now. Let me go lower the front of the trailer. And I'll, I'll be right back. So bear with me for just about two seconds. So <laughs> lowering the jacket in the front didn't do, I didn't lift it a whole lot, but it doesn't matter. Uh, while I had the camera off, I did uh, do a, just a, just to make sure I could finish this video and not look like a complete fool for spending 50 bucks or whatever I spent. Anyways, so it's fully installed. As you guys saw, the steps are closed. Um, pull your steps out, drop your steps down, like, you know, um, all you really see on the top are these four bolts, and they look identical, essentially, to these rivets. I don't even know if those, yeah, those are, but these rivets here, they're, they're, it's aesthetically, it's unnoticeable. So, you know, these steps are very close to the ground right now, it's just the way the trailer is sitting. Uh, sometimes they're higher, sometimes they're lower, depending on the grade of where you're camping. You know, if you're in a level site, you won't have to adjust them very much. If you're not in a level site where you have a slope or your trailer's more down in the front to get you level, you may be higher off the grade, you may use them more. But um, I'll just, I'll, so, so take a look at this. You can see how much give there is. Now I'm being a little exaggeratory in my, in my, in my, uh, in my actions, but you can see, I mean, the amount of give there is in that. So, so check this out. I'm super stoked about these, just to be completely honest. So I, you may not have to get on the ground like this, but you pull your pin out, drop your leg down, put your pin back in, this little secure, lower your foot down, lock it in place. It's locked in place. The same on the other side, because there's two of them. Now, I don't anticipate you having to get on the ground every time you do this, but it's so close I, and I've not done it before I'm just having to I'm having to watch what I'm doing here lower the leg down all right now check this out so this is installed now now watch this this is this is cool I mean that's impressive for 50 bucks now there may be some give the next step up there's a little but again my stabilizing jacks are not down uh, the JT strong arms are not engaged. I mean, that is 
that's that's an amazing difference and it's it is super secure and that's going to take a ton of that initial wobble out you know there's still a little give in the, the spring of the step you know maybe somebody would say well you're still you're picking up the vibration of this step and this step when you step in the trailer so what are you really solving i think you know um pennies make nickels you know every little inch every little added benefit is helpful um we, we come on vacation to rest and my wife is a light sleeper and you know if it's if she wakes up because i want to sit outside and watch the campfire for a while and 10 o'clock rolls around and she's long long asleep and I come in wake her up and I can avoid doing that I will so I think what I'll do is is um, again you can see how it's installed you know I guess I could put it together like that I didn't have to go on the ground to do that that probably was rookie mistake um, I could have just done this in the beginning but I wasn't quite sure so there's multiple there's multiple like I showed you before there's multiple adjustments so you really don't know maybe maybe you have to go on the ground but anyways um, close your feet up, put your pin back in like that, close your feet up, put your pin back in like just like that, close your steps, sucking the little sweat, you are done. And uh, I mean it's, that's about as easy as it gets, honestly. Um, directions are good, the thing works. I have to highly recommend it. And I will tell you again that they didn't come with instructions. They came with, you know, one sheet of paper, which is now a little soggy because I'm sweating in them, but they came with one sheet of paper, but it's it's not that complicated. And, you know, I'll tell you, when I, I'm impressed. I gotta be honest. Um, and I will, I'll do an update video. My wife and I are going to South Carolina, not this coming week, but the following. I'll do an update video with the JT strong arm and the the this this um, solid stance. So I highly recommend it. Uh, there is a little a couple diagrams on here um, on how to use it, but not really directions. But hopefully my video is helpful, and I really appreciate you guys taking some time to listen. I'm new to this YouTube video thing, so this may be long-winded or long but if you liked it um, give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and I'll I'll be excited that I have another like <laughs> I think I have two total for all of my videos and it's kind of cool to get them it's just sort of fun this is totally just fun for us so anyways listen I uh, hope you guys have a have a have a great travel season and maybe this will be helpful to you so uh, remember the jolly RV or we put the R in RV see ya